need to know all these types. One is alpha particles. Alpha particles. Alpha particles are really just helium. So helium, which has two proton, atomic number two, and four uh, for its uh, overall mass number, that means two protons, two neutrons, with a two plus charge. That's an alpha particle. It can be written like this, or sometimes it's written like this, with an alpha and a four and a two, or sometimes people just write alpha. These alpha particles uh, can be damaging because usually a lot is given off at a time, but they're not penetrating. What that means is uh, if some evil villain comes up to me uh, with an uh, alpha gun and starts shooting it at me, that alpha gun could uh, severely harm me, but I can protect myself with just a piece of paper. Okay? So that it's low penetrating power. I don't need much protect myself from alpha radiation. But if it does get into you, it can be harmful. Okay? Um, and we'll look later uh, in the news where someone was uh, killed by alpha poisoning. Okay. Uh, I can give you an example of a reaction, and this will also show you how these kind of reactions go. Let's say we have uranium-238 that has a 92 mass number. This decays according to alpha radiation, which most really heavy elements do. It uh, decays into thorium-234 plus an alpha particle. Oh, that doesn't look like an alpha. Alpha, 40. Notice what happens here. There's a couple things. First of all, uh, when we do this sort of balancing, uh, of nuclear chemistry, uh, there are other things involved, like uranium that is not going to exist by itself, it'll be in a ore. But we're only looking at the thing that's going to uh, give off radiation. Okay, so this is not the whole picture, just the part that's interesting. The second thing is, here we're not uh, balancing compounds, we're balancing nuclei. So usually like two carbons on each side, five oxygens, whatever. We don't do that. Notice there's no uranium over here. So we're not going to balance uh, elements here. We're balancing nuclei. So notice 92 will equal 90 plus 2. And 238 will equal 234 plus 4. That's how you balance these kinds of reactions. And we'll do examples uh, later. But we don't balance electrons. We don't balance elements. We only balance the nuclei. Okay, and this is where we get helium from. So whenever there's decay uh, underground forming a pocket of helium, this is where we get it because alpha particles are helium. Second kind of, uh, or second type of radiation, beta particles. A uh, beta particle is an electron. An electron can be given off in ionizing power, and that's written, can be written uh, in a couple different ways. Usually beta, with a, a zero here, because the electron has no protons and neutrons. And remember, this number down here represents the number of protons. Uh, and to represent that, we put a minus one here, just to show like it's kind of the opposite of a proton, if you will. This can also be written as a beta minus. Uh, and sometimes you'll see it written as like an electron or something like that. Let me show you an example uh, reaction uh, with an electron. If I have a compound that's 1, 0, what is that? Is there a proton here? No. What is there? Neutron. This is a neutron. If I have a compound that's 1,1, one, one, what is that? That's a proton. There's no neutron here. Uh, and this will give off a beta particle. Notice how this balances. 
minus 1 plus 1 equals 0. Again, we're balancing the nuclei, not the actual entity. 0 plus 1 equals 1. So here, with no heavy element here, though, elements can do this. Just an example that's a little smaller. Uh, and this is basically saying, with a proton and electron, you can make a neutron. Or a neutron will decay into a proton and electron. And there's other energy given off in the form of something called a neutrino, but we won't really worry about that. Uh, I can give you a, another reaction to see another example. Let's do thorium. We saw it before. Let's do 234 thorium. Yeah, I forgot what P is. I don't know if that's protactarium or something like that. This will go to 91 and 234 uh, plus a beta particle. So notice again, 91 minus 1 equals 90, and 234 plus 0 equals 234. So the top and the bottom all line up. We can have a different kind of a beta particle in something called electron capture. So this is still in the same category. Electron capture. That basically means a beta particle is in the reactants. Uh, so uh, for example, I think this thallium 202 and 81 plus a beta particle goes to 202 and 80, uh, which is mercury. So notice, 80 equals 81 minus 1, 202 plus 0 is 202. So this is called electron capture when it's receiving a beta particle. When it's giving off a beta particle, that's a beta emission. Okay? So both involving beta particles just going in different directions. So capture means reactants, emission means products. Capture means reactants, emission means products. Finally, the third uh, type of radiation is called gamma rays. Notice that I, oh, and this is symbolized by gamma. Uh, notice I didn't call this a gamma particle. Uh, this is not particulate. This is massless and uncharged. This is just a, a ray. Uh, it can also be written like this. Zero, zero. So this is electromagnetic radiation. This is highly penetrating. What does that mean? My piece of paper will not protect me from a gamma gun. Okay? I need Superman. Uh, gamma radiation kind of shows up in a lot of different places. So usually heavier elements give off alpha particles. Those are bigger particles. Lighter elements usually give off beta particles or undergo uh, beta capture because uh, those are smaller, so they give off smaller particles or take on smaller particles. Uh, gamma is usually just for energy rearrangement. Uh, so for example, it's kind of an easy one to balance. Let's say we, let's go back to thorium. Uh, I'm going to put, what does this hash mark mean right there? Transition state. Transition state, yeah. Same uh, idea from that transition uh, state theory in kinetics. So we can go from this excited state of a thorium down to, okay, thorium that's cool, it's more stable, and giving off a gamma particle. Oh, not particle, gamma ray. 